Hey guys, it's Courtney and welcome to the final day of the 25 Days of Christmas card series. Today is going to be a super simple one. I'm using the Frozen Fractals stamp set by uh, Simon Says Stamp and I'm also taking two pieces of green pearl cardstock. This actually came from the Create and Inspire kit. It's made by Sizzix, so I will link it below. I love, love this cardstock. So one piece is cut um, to four by five and a quarter, and the other one is, I believe, it is three and a half. I hope I'm right, three and a half by five and three quarters. So I treated the entire panels with my anti-static tool and I'm going around the edges with all of these snowflakes. You can see that I'm stamping off the page. I'm working on a scrap piece of paper. And by the way, I am stamping with Versamark. And I'm just kind of mixing and matching the snowflakes. I'm not overlapping any of them, but I'm just basically creating a border around both of these panels here. Now, the one, I don't know whether you guys can see it on camera, but the one off to the left-hand side on the larger panel, I didn't stamp very good. I don't know whether I just didn't ink it up good enough or I just didn't stamp good enough or whatever. But <laughs> it's hard to see now, but once I add the embossing powder, you're really gonna be able to see that it just isn't very good, but I'm going with it because you guys know how I am. I just go with it. So once I filled in all of these little gaps here and created a border for both of these panels, I am going to bring out Snowflake Tinsel uh, Embossing Powder by Ranger. I found this in my stash. I have no idea how long I've had it. I don't think I've ever used it. It looks completely full and even has a price tag on it. And that's a store I haven't been to in probably two years. So <laughs> have no idea how long I've had this. But you can see that it's kind of like an off-white embossing powder, but it's got some sparkles in it. It's got a lot of sparkles in it. And the sparkles are going to kind of be mixed in with the embossing powder. And you don't want to kind of tap your paper too much before you heat set it because you're going to lose all that sparkle. There's nothing really keeping that sparkle there until you melt it. So I heated up my heat gun for about 30 seconds or so and then I can heat set this. Now embossing powder is basically just little bits of plastic. So when that melts, it's going to hold in that glitter so that that glitter doesn't go anywhere once everything is heat set. So once that is done, I am going to, well, one is going to go on top of the others. The smaller is original, it, it, eventually, let me try to speak here, eventually going to go on top of the other. I'm going to use this Warm Wishes stamp that I used in a previous card just because it is it fits. <laughs> the, the sentiments that from this stamp set don't. So I cut this apart, which is not something I usually do with my stamps, but here is what I did here to mess up my card once again. I went ahead and stamped it out with the Versamark ink, sprinkled on that same embossing powder and heat set it. Now I always tell you guys to let the embossing powder dry or cool off for a couple of seconds before you cut down any sentiment strips or anything like that. Um, but I should really do as I say, um, not as I do <laughs> because I didn't wait and I picked up this panel immediately and I smeared the embossing powder. So it is what it is. I'm going to put it aside. We're just going to make sentiment strips. I'm not going to start over at this point. But in order to create a border and kind of make these stand out a little bit, I'm going to cut two pieces of cardstock and they're cut just about a an eighth of an inch larger than the actual panels and I just grabbed some from my stash. This is cardstock that I've had in my stash since I started card making 11 years ago. They're all from like Michaels and craft stores and stuff so it's really not good quality cardstock and I'm trying to get rid of it and I figured it's going to be covered so nobody's going to know what kind of cardstock I used. So I'm just squishing my Versamark ink pad around the edges of both of these panels. I didn't bother to treat it with an anti-static tool because I really don't care if it sticks to areas that I don't want it to because it's all going to be covered up. So I use that same embossing powder 
And here is where you're actually gonna see it turn. With the stamped images, you couldn't really see the effect that this embossing powder has, but for a large area like this, you can really see it kind of come to life. This would be amazing in a scene card. I really wish I would have dug this out and found it um, when I made all of my scene cards because this would be phenomenal for a snowy background. So once again, heated up my heat gun for a couple of seconds before bringing that to the paper. And now you can actually see how the embossing powder is melting and it is so, so pretty. It really looks like snow because you actually have some texture with it. It's, it's different. It's different than most embossing powders. I can't really explain it, but it's very, very pretty in person. Hard to see on camera, but very, very pretty in person. Now I learned my lesson the first time and I did let these cool down for a couple of minutes before I kind of messed around with them and then I can adhere my panels together. So obviously the smaller panel will go on the smaller panel, <laughs> both smaller panels together. Um, now my glue really wasn't sticking all that great. And I think it's just because I had that embossed background and it is so textured. I would definitely use a double-sided tape next time if I were to do this again. Um, this is something that you can mass produce very, very easily. I just don't mass produce very often because I hate making the same card twice. But if I did it again or did something similar, I would definitely use some double-sided tape. I just ended up uh, putting my Misty on top of these two panels until the glue really set. And it didn't take too long. It took maybe about three or four minutes. Um, but I just didn't want to sit there and hold them down. So I just popped my Misty on top of it and we are good to go. So next we're going to fix our sentiment. So I'm gonna take out some more of that green pearl cardstock. Once again, treated it with my anti-static tool and I'm gonna stamp out this sentiment again with some Versamark ink. This time I didn't, and this is where I probably shouldn't have even cut the stamp because I'm putting them horizontal the way they were to begin with anyway. <laughs> and I stamped those, embossed it with that same embossing powder waited a couple of seconds for it to cool down and then I cut that down into sentiment strips. I just need them slightly larger than the words itself just to make sure that I can cover up that smear um, or at least most of it anyway. So I like to use my mini tonic trimmer for sentiment strips. I find that I can get the most precise cut for smaller areas with this particular trimmer. And then I'm gonna glue that right over my original sentiment, the one that we originally embossed. Finally, I am going to pop up this small panel with some foam tape right there in the center and adhere everything to my white card base, just leaving a very, very small white border around the edge. But that is it. That is the final, very easy card. I promise you guys, you can do this. I know some of those scenes can be intimidating, but this one is a super easy one. So definitely give it a try. I know you all have snowflakes in your, in your stash <laughs> and any embossing powder will do. So today's theme is shimmer and glitter and pearl and all of the goodness of everything. And I am teaming up with Dana and I will link her below as well as all of the supplies that I use in today's card. And I'm also going to be creating a slideshow video in case there's any videos that you missed. And I will link all of the channels for all of my collaborators throughout this series. So thank you guys so much for sticking it out for 25 straight days with me. Have a great day. Bye.